Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Fred. Okay, so in the last video, I demonstrated how to draw isometric um, circles using some techniques. Now, I'm going to apply um, the techniques, okay, to drawing real life, um, uh, real objects such as these ones, this simple object you're seeing. So this is going to be our first example. Alright, now remember I told you, if you've not seen the video on how to draw isometric circles, please see that video before uh, continuing with this. Now, also, I told you in previous videos that if you want to draw isometric objects, you could actually project them inside a box. So how do you draw the isometric box? Now, what you do is you look for the total length, uh, the total dimension to the right, the total dimension to the left, and the total height of the object, and use it to project a box. Now, what will happen is this. The object that you are required to draw, you are going to draw it inside the box you have projected. All right? So we'll treat this as this is the first example. And we're going to treat this just about now. All right. So from this uh, this object, you could see that the total height of the object is forty five plus twenty five because from this uh, base to this point here is forty five. From this uh, midpoint here, from this point here to the top is twenty five because the radius of this arc is twenty five. So forty five plus twenty five is what. Um, that is 70, so you can, this height will be 70. Now, the slope, the receding line to the right is 20, all right? So you measure 20 here, and the receding line to the left is 50. So you measure 50 here, so you complete the box with it. Okay, so draw a line, a straight line, okay? Just indicate a dot on the line. Then align your, place your protractor, ensure that the midpoint of this protractor okay is exactly on the point on the dot rather then align you can see this line make sure ensure that this line is on the what on the line now this um what you ought i i believe you already know so i'm just trying to reemphasize on it on on the need for you to position your protractor very well so this is 90 degrees this is 30 degrees to the right and this is 30 degrees to the left so what you do now is you connect this midpoint through all of these uh, the 90 the 30 and this 30. okay so um i already measured 20 here this is 20 as you can see i already measured uh, 50 here this is 50 as you can see and i already measured 70 here this is 70 as you can see so what i would do is I will transfer this vertical line, align your set square like this. Okay. Um, and transfer to this point here. And draw a thin line. Now remember, all of these, they are thin lines, very thin lines. Transfer to where you have 20 here. Draw lines. Okay. So you measure 70, sorry, yes, 70 here. You measure 70 here. You connect, connect transfer this line here and complete the box i want to keep this video as short as possible okay so here it is this is the box the asymmetric box now remember i told you to draw a circle all right or an arc in isometric form you need what a rhombus okay so now what is the radius of this circle all right this arc you're seeing here is 25 so if the radius is 25 that means the diameter this is actually supposed to be a complete circle, you understand? So that means the diameter is what? It's 50. So you are going to draw a rhombus of 50 by 50. So how do I mean? Now, from here, remember, this is the part where you have the curve, okay? So the curve is actually going to be here. So you are going to measure 50 downward. 50. Now, this is already 50, all right? So you're going to measure 50, measure 50, you connect. Remember, all of these, they are what? Thin lines. Okay, so this is 50 from the top here, and this is 50, all right? So connect thin lines, thin lines, all right? So that's it. Now, you know the rule. The rule is you join the longest diagonal first, all right? So that is the longest diagonal. Now, locate the centers of the side of the rhombus now this is 50 center will be what 25 so that's my 25 this is 50 center will be what 25 
this is my 25 and center here this is 50 the center will be what 25 that's my 25 now I didn't bother um, indicating 25 here because I don't need this part. It's it's um half a circle, half a circle. All right. So what you do next is connect. I told you any of the what the the angles that uh, connect the shorter uh, diagonal. Okay. So this diagonal is shorter than this one. All right. So choose any one, either this or this. So you connect to where this center that you indicated, but our point of reference or our point of uh, focus is what is yeah so just draw a line to cut you can draw the line all the way down if you like but it's not really necessary so from this same point here you connect to this center here all right so you can choose to draw the line all the way or just cut the center this is actually my point of what focus so i'm just going to make it more uh, pronounced right so those are the points so you remember you can choose to draw the line all the way but i just want to leave it that way all right so the next thing you do is you apply our method so needle at this point here you needle here all right stretch to this midpoint here right so you draw an arc let me adjust very well to touch this all right so that's an arc all right so the next thing you do is you needle here at this point all right so you stretch to this midpoint here remember when you're drawing the arc do not exceed the midpoint i said that in the video um i posted on of um, isometric circle so stretch to this point and draw this arc and stop at the midpoint here all right so since it is just half a circle this is all we need we don't need to draw the full circle or ellipse now in this case okay so this is it now you cannot draw this part thick lines thick lines and from this point down thick line so now you have gotten the curved um part for this face now do not forget there is a face there is a thickness the thickness of this block is um 20 all right so we're also going to draw for the back face to complement this one so what i'm going to do is i'm also going to what indicate 50 here so this is my 50 all right so now i will transfer i will transfer this vertical line to this point here because i also measure 50 downward all right sorry about that now with thin lines just draw a line down okay so measure 50 on it as well So that's 50. So connect 50 to 50 if you like. It's not really necessary, but for clarity purpose. So you will know that exactly what I did to this uh, face is what I'm going to repeat for the back face. All right. So you join the longest diagonal. So that's it. Now indicate the centers. That's 2.5. So this is 2.5. This is 2.5 and this is 2.5. Like I said, this one is not necessary. So let me choose this side this time around. I told you, you could use any of these angles. So connect to the what? The midpoint here. Okay. It will cut the center line at that point you don't necessarily need to draw the line just indicate and that's all then you connect here to this midpoint here oh so that means i have to what 
indicate this midpoint since I'm using this other side. So this midpoint here is 2.5. So from here, I'm connecting now, but I just have to cut. So these are my what points of focus. So what do I do here now? Now, needle at this point. All right, now this time you're not going to draw from this midpoint. Why? Because part of the object we what we definitely what obstruct the back. You won't be able to see the back. So this line diagonal you're seeing here, that's where you will stop. Alright? So you stretch to this midpoint here. So this is the midpoint here. When you draw your axe, stop at this point, this diagonal here. Do not exceed this diagonal. Alright? Stop there. Alright? Stop here. Then for the other side. You need to here stretch to this point here and draw the arc like this. Stop at the midpoint here where you measure 2.5. Alright, that's it. So what you do next is connect this point of intersection to this point of intersection between this arc and this diagonal. They are intersecting at this point. So you connect to corresponding point here with a straight line all right then make this one a thick line and this a thick line so there you have your object there you have your object so the next thing is for you to dimension so that's it dimension all right so i'm going to treat this next this other example in the next upload all right please do not forget to hit the like button and uh, also recommend these lessons to someone whom you think might need it. Have a nice day.